This is a short video to introduce you to open educational resources. The contexts of our educational institutions are such that learning resources for students and for lecturers are expensive and there may not be enough of them. Furthermore, you cannot normally find one resource to fit all needs. The next few slides show how a simple resource can be used for teaching and learning and can be openly licensed to become an OER. So the image we have here can be regarded as a resource. If we add a learning activity, we can think of it as an educational resource. Then, if we give it an open license, the resource has become an OER. An OER can be revised or adapted for a new context. In this case, we have removed the dinosaur image and are concentrating on the solar system model only. Note that we have changed the learning activity for this revised resource. Here we have downloaded an image from the internet which can be used as a resource for introducing family law. However, you cannot take any image you find on the internet and incorporate it into learning materials. But in the case of this image, we see that there is information provided showing who made it and the open license that it holds. The license is CC by SA 3.0. We will cover the licenses used for OER during the course of this workshop. We end this video with a definition of open educational resources and their relationship to copyright. This slide shows a formal definition of OER. Note that we have put permits their free use and repurposing by others in bold, as we regard these features as being very important. The Hewlett Foundation has provided funding to promote OER all around the world. You will be aware of the concept of copyright, which is a form of law that covers how people can use created works. Copyright protects the author of the work. If you openly license a work, it allows others to use it and adapt it but it does not give the copyright away. We will now look at licensing in more detail as we return to the online workshop.